I've noticed that there has been a lot of slut shaming recently and it's also gotten very aggressive recently. So as a renowned expert in slut shaming, I just want to make sure that you're all doing it right. Now the first thing you'll want to keep in mind is confidence. Remember, it doesn't really matter who the victim is. You or somebody else has decided that they deserve to be slut-shamed. Anything goes. Don't even worry about age. Age is just a number. If, if you're really feeling like being sporting with it, you may even want to go for someone who has only just hit puberty or who hasn't even reached puberty yet. But that, that's maybe a bit advanced. You may want to start a little lower. The important thing to keep in mind here is anything negative that you or the social environment feels, especially towards sex, does now become the fault of the victim of the slut shaming. It doesn't it doesn't matter who they are, what they've done or haven't done, and you'll really want to make sure to push away any feelings of doubt. You're not wrong. The, the victim of slut shaming has female genitalia. It, it doesn't... Yeah. Go for it. Now, there are a number of different arguments, different situations in which to slut shame. Now, I'm not going to give you any direct quotes for what to say to them. I, I'm really just going to direct, to direct your efforts and you and your own social group can express it however you like using whatever slang possible history that you might have with that person. Now, I'm going to start with the one I like to call the standard double. You are having a lot of sex as a male and enjoying it and getting respect from those around you for these attributes. However, the victim of the slut shaming is engaging in that same activity with, with that same joy from it. And this is obviously wrong, so you'll want to go, you know, go right for the jugular with that one, obviously. I like to call this next one, who needs proof? It doesn't really matter if the person's actually done anything yet. Maybe it's someone that you or someone else wants to have sex with, but they won't have sex with you. Maybe it's someone who doesn't even appear to be interested in sex at all. There is no reason not to slut shame this individual. A, a woman's sexuality, a female sexuality, is it, it's just, it's a good way to destroy them. Just go, go directly for the kill there. And yeah, you, you, you really don't need to have any kind of evidence or any, any actual kind of history of it. Now there's, there's a sort of variant to this, which you might call the transference who needs proof. In this, maybe in fact you are the one who wants to have sex with this person and she very specifically turns you down. This is a great time to slut shame her because then you don't have to deal with the negative emotions of having been turned down. And really, why, why should you have to? I mean, she's the one who turned you down she's the one that you want to have sex with, so obviously 
it's her fault and she should have to suffer for it. You, you, you don't want to start questioning, stop and wonder if maybe something you did was incorrect or, or if she just isn't interested or yeah you don't don't start thinking about any of that you'll just you'll you'll lose momentum suddenly you're not even slut shaming her and maybe even the the group that you might have been gathering to slut shame her may also start giving up and and that just, it, it can fall apart really easily it's 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 tragic when it happens but I just, I, I want to warn you immediately that you, you'll definitely want to be wary of that. And that more or less covers the, the main areas of it now. The, the point that I will leave you with here is when we have our victim of the slut shaming, you'll want to make sure that the as I already mentioned that it's a good idea to go for a, a group. There, there will often be a lot who will automatically join in. Some will have to be encouraged or some may even require threats, but you'll want to make sure that the, the group is with you because, again, these things can fall apart really easily and you, you really don't want to have anyone suddenly break apart the slut chain. So you'll want to form a nice circle com completely covering the victim of the slut shaming, making sure that they don't feel like there's any way any, anywhere to turn. They, they, you'll want them to feel completely alone. You'll want them to feel worse than just anything else. You know, you, you, you really don't want them to start finding allies, finding help, finding, finding support. Because again, the, the slut chain might just end there. I mean, it, it can be a tough battle for them to actually break up the slut shaming, but it can happen, so you don't want to give them that opening. You'll want this nice circle around that you can maybe even tighten. Think, think of it as a, a noose. And I don't specifically mean for when you're trying to drive the victim to suicide, even just even if you just want them to leave the current area, or if you just want a punching bag, you know. Just keep in mind they are the scapegoat. You know, it doesn't matter what you put on them, the, the level of abuse you subject them to. You'll just, you'll want to make sure it's, it's nice and constant. Otherwise, it, it just, it may break apart or you may not get the desired effect. Now, I have thus already brought up that some will go for actually getting them to commit suicide. Again, in this situation, I want to make sure that you realize this is not a bad thing, this is not a wrong thing. Some people, I mean, we, you know, this is, this is the West, we can't, we can't stone them. And, you know, just ridiculous progress, freaking liberals, you know, what, what are you gonna do? You, you can't stone them anymore, so your best bet is to just keep at it until they commit suicide, if that is what you want. And it may happen even if it's not what you want. Even in that case, you don't really want to feel bad about it. Again, they, they were a female. It's, it's someone, you or someone else, had decided that they deserved to be slut-shamed. So obviously, it was right what you did. Now, in some more recent cases, there have been a lot of victims of slut-shaming who are actually rape victims and maybe the a, a photograph of the rape went viral or the like and if you are going to do this just make sure you know the the social environment because not everybody is willing to go that far and just I mean the moment you start sending around a 
picture or otherwise, some, some footage of a rape, you'll want to make sure that people are on your side, that they realize that it's the, the slut-shaming victim who is the target here. I mean, you don't want to end up being charged with rape. I mean, you're not the person who's being slut-shamed here, so... Yeah, so I, I hope you'll find this useful and keep it up. I mean, how, how, are, how else are we going to control female sexuality, really? And remember, think, question, research. Don't take anybody else's word for it, and that includes mine. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.